pedagogical strategies for online courses. There are multiple strategies that can be used for online courses, but not all strategies are the same, and we do need criteria to be able to distinguish one from the other. If we want to, we can go to Google and do a search on teaching methods or teaching strategies, and we'll find the list. But it's not a question of just taking something from a list and adapting it to our courses. It's more than that. It's being able to distinguish which one is better and which is not appropriate. We should not be carrying out conversations like Alice had in Wonderland, where someone asks which route to take and when they're asked where they want to go, they answer they don't care. Because if you don't care where you want to go, then the route doesn't matter. The same applies in terms of online strategies for teaching. There is a big struggle in distance education right now. And it's defining how much we are going to stay within the confines of face-to-face -face education and when are we going to really liberate ourselves from the confines of face-to-face -face education. I still remember how in 1975 I heard Benjamin Bloom talking about mastery learning where he stated very clearly that there was a contradiction between time and excellence. One of the two would always be dominating and up to now time has dominated over excellence. We know that the semester has a definite time, but we also know that student ex excellence is varied, and that's why we have a grading system where those who are excellent are receiving A's, and those who are not excellent are receiving B's, C's, D's, and F's. We are in the midst of a battle between a rigid education oriented towards mass education and a more flexible type of education that promotes a really personalized education. The first one, this massive rigid education, is associated with face-to-face -face education. While we have that potential to have a more flexible personalized education with the technologies that we have today. But time is running out. Time is running out for our country, for the students that have to face an uncertain future. It's time now that we begin to really refocus the education that we've been having, that we've been serving our students for so long. On the one hand, we promise our children, we promise our students to reach for the stars. But yet, on the other hand, we don't give them the stars to be able to reach for. We confine them to boxes that we call classrooms. And in these classrooms we have a series of activities that are boring. Instead of giving our students the whole nine yards, we're just giving them inches, talking about possibly competencies in courses that really aren't flexible that really aren't oriented towards having these students master many, many of the concepts and skills and attitudes that they need for the 21st century. And the problem is clear. We keep putting more and more hats on our teachers instead of having a team type of educational system where as a team each one puts the best foot forward and their strengths together to be able to create experiences that are really worthwhile for our students. Our universities are based on the same traditional three pillars of teaching, research, and service, and still hasn't grasped the necessity to be able to put in the fourth pillar, the fourth pillar of evaluation, to have institutions evaluate effectively learning that is going on outside the classroom. But though radical change is needed, the administrations are incredibly efficient in just eliminating those professors that really are asking for a radical change in the way we're teaching. 
our educational system has found multiple ways to cheat itself into ignoring the many problems that it has. Administrators have known for years what we have to do, but there's a fear to act. We know what to do, but we don't do. We should be teaching our students how to encounter the challenges that China presents. We should be presenting to our students the opportunities that Africa presents. But scattered around the world, there are instances that show us the way, that show us that the best teachers should be available to the masses, and that there are ways to use technology beyond the limits of face-to-face -face education. It'll take time, but eventually the world has to wake up.